Right, so it looks like I believe this is ready to come out. There we go. All right, guys. Here we go. Subaru SDI EJ25. Same thing as the EJ20. This video. Uh, take out this uh, exhaust manifold right here. First, we're going to take out the bolts from the shield. Take out the shield out. And then we'll dive into the bolts right after to the head. All right, so let's get started. So um, what I use is a 12 mil. There's some bolts right here that looks like, what is that, 13? It's a lot bigger than the 12. There's three right here. Let's take those out quick. Yeah, this one here is a 13 for sure. All right, so we're just gonna careful open this up. There you go, that's the first half. Then there's the second half. What I do more normally is I put this bolt back in here so that when I put it back together, I know which bolt will go in first or which bolt will go. So it's gonna put all the three bolts together. Next one will be down the bottom right there. All right, so two bolts up top and then one at the bottom. We'll take those out. But first, let's, uh, let's hit it with the penetrating fluid here so it's easy to come out. Let's simmer and let's move on to the next one right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Looks like five bolts on this one. Wow, there's always the big one. That's a 13. Thirteen for sure on this one right here on the side, up on the front. And then the last one right by the ground strap, that would be the 12 for sure. Manifold to head, there's three bolts right there. We hit it with the penetrating fluid. Two and then three are right in the middle. Right here. It's hard to see. Right, let it sit for a bit. All right, so this uh, nut right here, manifold to head. We're gonna use a 14 deep socket on this one with a flex head breaker bar. I'm just gonna crack this thing open, crack it loose. All of them. And then we'll uh, zip them off right after. The bottom right here is the next. There you go. That's three, and then we need three on this side too. There's a shield on the way. All right, let's make something. We have to take out the shield here. Let's try to get this other one first, and then we'll deal with that one next. There you go. Just like that. That one's loose. I'm just gonna squeeze this in. I'll bend that shield out. Right there, it looks good to me. It's even out, nice and flat. All right, there we go. Perfect. Now let's uh, zip them off. Two nuts, one stud with bolt. It came out. Let's see what this one came out to. That's a nut. Another nut and another nut. Real nuts except the one stud. Alright guys, so there's uh 
Manifold right here is loose. Same thing on this side right here is loose. Uh, the only thing that attached to this is to, to the turbo right here. So thinking of, uh, I'm gonna just disconnect the up pipe. This is the up pipe right here. This is uh, the joint. So I'm gonna take out this bolt right here. And same thing on the other side, there's a bolt on the other side. You can see that it's close to the O2 sensor. So just use one of these uh, skinny 14 mil socket. Give a little bit of a move left and right. So you have lots of room to so square off to the base of the nut. Okay, so we're just gonna take those out here. It looks good to me. There you go. There's a nut, same thing on this side. There we go. All right, so it looks like, I believe this is ready to come out. There we go. Exhaust manifold right there. I'm gonna put that on the side. And we'll put the bolt back in here. We don't wanna lose it. This side is good. We're gonna we're not gonna mess around with the oil and cooler here yet. It's gonna make a big mess. There's some coolant inside of this block. We're just gonna keep going. This side is good. We'll reuse the exhaust manifold gasket here. This came with the kit. All this old one, we'll uh, toss that in the garbage. Okay, so that, this is good, nice. All right, let's uh, work on the, on the front here. Let's uh, take out the timing belts and other components.